Hey, what's up guys? Last video I showed you how to set up this Raspberry Pi 3.5 inch screen. Now, the way I showed you how to set that up was via a whole operating system installation. Now, if you wanna go check out that video, click the link up above or in the description. But what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to do the installation via the terminal. So downloading that driver. Now the reason why we want to do that is so we can have a backup and actually switch back and forward between the HDMI and using the screen. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it right now. So the first thing we're going to do is download the driver which you can find in the description below the link that takes you over to there. Once you've downloaded the driver I put mine onto a USB stick then I plug the USB stick into the Raspberry Pi. You can download the driver direct on the Raspberry Pi via web browser, but that's up to you. So now what I'm gonna do is open up the USB where I can see the driver here. I'm going to copy that and paste it on the Raspberry Pi. Now where I'm gonna paste it is on the home and Pi, and then I'll paste it there. Now, I already have it sitting there, so hence why it's trying to replace it. But now that we've pasted that there, what I'm gonna do is open up the terminal and then in the terminal, we're going to need to extract that file. So what we're gonna do is go dir directory. It shows us all of the documents or folders inside that folder structure inside the Pi. Now, as you can see there, we've got the LCD show. So what we're gonna do is type in the following code and it will extract that file. So tar space dash just follow what I'm doing here. Now, what it'll do is extract the file into its own separate folder. Now, when you hit enter on this command line, just give it some time. It does take a bit of time to actually extract that folder. So just be patient and let it go. I've actually sped the time up here. But once it's done extracting everything, you can then see that the folder is inside that Pi subdirectory now there you can see there's a bunch of files in there and folders and when we go back to the terminal what we'll do is type dir again which shows us that there's the new folder inside that directory so we can copy that and what we want to do is actually type cd so we actually go into that folder so i'm going to paste hit enter and then we're now going to go inside that folder as you can see there in the line now if i do dir again it will show the files and folders that are inside that subdirectory, which we can see if we go back over to there. Now, what I want to do first is run the backup. So if we do sudo space dot forward slash LCD underscore backup, it'll actually run a file which actually updates here. So you don't have to worry about what it's actually doing. All we need to do is run it. It'll back up the system and the same as before when you're extracting it, give it some time. It does take a bit of time to actually run and back up the system. Now, once that's done, all we need to do is run the LCD line or the command that actually installs the driver. So we do sudo space dot dash LCD 35 underscore V, hit enter, same thing, leave it, don't touch anything, just let it run and do its thing. Now, what's gonna happen is at the moment, I'm actually showing this screen via HDMI. So when it's actually installed, it does a shutdown reset. And then this is the screen you get from the HDMI. It stays like this, you can't get anything else out of it. But what we do find now is that if you actually have the screen plugged in, it will work. So you can do everything you need to via the screen. I'm actually remote controlling it uh, from my PC and I'll show you that in another video. But what we wanna do now is actually go back to the terminal and I wanna show you how to switch back to HDMI. So the same thing, DIR, we can go into the folder structure, the LCD, which we can do CD, paste, enter, and we're in that folder structure. Now, what we wanna do is the restore our backup that we made before. So how we do that is we copy the LCD HDMI and what we're going to do is run that one. So sudo space dot dash and the LCD underscore, I'm just pasting it in here and hit enter. Same thing, leave it, let it do its thing. 
it does take a little bit of time. Now, once it's done, you'll obviously have it reset again, and then we got it loading again via the HDMI. So the screen will be blank, uh, but you can go back to HDMI and let it run that way. So you can switch back and forward just by running those same uh, commands to, to go back and forward between the screen and the HDMI, if, depending on what you actually want to do. So the only other thing I want to point out is when you're doing a system update, you want to actually lock that kernel driver so it doesn't change and you'll have errors. So I think this is just something with these screens that doesn't really set up with uh, when you're doing the update. So you just have to run those commands at the bottom where it's saying about to, to lock the kernel. So just make sure you do that if you're going to do a update uh, on your Raspberry Pi. Let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, let me know if you also want to see some other videos like this. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more projects like this. That's about it from me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.